In the early 1970s, it was becoming obvious to many people there was a finite limit to the world's natural resources. Clearly, business as usual was no longer an option. In 1972, The Ecologist magazine published an article proposing a new approach to international human development. Traditional development was about delivering economic benefits, but often at the expense of people and the environment. The article suggested a shift in perspective was needed. This new way of looking at the world as a whole became known as sustainable development. But what does sustainable development actually mean? Some feel that the term sustainable development is too loose or lacks real meaning to their day-to-day -day work. Others argue that sustainable development is often considered only as an add-on at the last stage of the policy process. This may sometimes be true at the moment. But this approach misses enormous opportunities for doing things better. Thinking sustainably will generate innovative new solutions and approaches to the challenges we face. This is not easy but then few things really worth doing ever are. DEFRA is putting sustainable development into action in many areas. It is leading by example with the refurbishment of the Nobel House Office in London. The project, which is managed by building contractors Overbury, is designed to be environmentally efficient and will generate long-term financial savings through reduced running costs. The design of the building is transforming the working environment for DEFRA people, bringing social benefits whilst minimising environmental impacts. The experience of working with DEFRA is helping the building contractors Overbury introduce sustainability into other aspects of their work. We feel that there's a huge impact on the industry now. This has got to drive standards up. And this is obviously going to have a knock-on effect on the rest of the market. The future industry, this is the way it's going to go. From estate management to animal health and welfare, sustainable development is being successfully integrated into DEFRA policy across the board. Another DEFRA-sponsored project is SCOPS a nationwide initiative working with sheep farmers to help control the growing problem of parasites in sheep. Conventional use of chemicals has led to the development of resistant strains of parasitic worms. To deal with the problem more sustainably, SCOPS is working with farmers to help them reduce the amount of chemicals they use. This cost-effective and long-term approach is producing far-reaching benefits. SCOPS means healthy sheep protecting farmers' livelihoods and rural communities and looking after the environment and our landscape. But the main sustainability issue that we're looking at is sustaining the sheep farming business in the UK. Without these products working effectively, we wouldn't be able to farm sheep successfully. Sustainable development means taking a new perspective and doing things differently. Using the principles of sustainability, the National Forest is being developed on former industrial land in central England. Since 1994, the National Forest Company, sponsored by DEFRA, has more than doubled tree cover within its boundaries, acting as a catalyst for regeneration in this economically deprived region. I think there's been a tremendous shift in perception in over the last 10-15 years. In the past, I think it's been seen that in order to achieve economic regeneration, you had to forfeit the environment and vice versa. And I think what we set out to prove here, and you can witness all around you, is that those two things are totally integrated. And without the one, you can't properly have the other. And with both of them combined, you get that social well-being and you get a very much happier and healthier population. Over the years, sustainable development has moved from the periphery towards the heart of government thinking. The government has actually had a sustainable development strategy since 1994. 
In March 2005, a new strategy was launched focusing on delivery and embracing the bigger picture approach that is needed. It requires us to change the way we think and the way we act, but it is not a passing policy fad. Sustainable development is here to stay and it is DEFRA's role to champion it across government in the UK and internationally. But what are some of the challenges of putting it into practice? The whole point of sustainable development is that we achieve progress in three areas. A just society, a healthy environment and a productive economy. Although the three elements may appear to be in conflict, they are actually interdependent and connected. If we are to achieve genuine sustainable development, all three areas must be considered at the same time. We can't have one without the other two. The art of sustainable development need not be overcomplicated. If we adopt a longer term approach and consider the three elements together from the start, we open up the possibilities for simpler solutions. This will make us better policy makers and improve our delivery and operations as we find new exciting and unexpected solutions to the challenges we face. One of the benefits is promoting progressive change in policies. I think it's very important for DEFRA to lead by example. We need to think about the choices that we make. Sustainable development will give us a more coherent world view. Let's secure our future now. Our job here is to put sustainable development into practice and that is what we are doing and in the process we've learned an enormous amount and I think our main job now is to ensure that other people learn from those lessons too. Now I think if everybody in all government departments thought in terms of what are these benefits and how can we link them all to what we are doing, then I think you can take it from there and things will flow. You have seen here some cases where DEFRA has already successfully integrated sustainable development into its operations and policies. We are doing it, but it is not always easy. Everyone needs to get involved and take responsibility. This film is part of a campaign called Think Sustainable, available to all in DEFRA, and will help us succeed. Look out on the internet for more.